you look like such an angel when you're sleeping. Like perfect, amazing angel. Too good for this world, for anyone. I wish you could see that I just need to keep you safe. Calm down, baby. Shh, quiet. It's okay. It's okay. Shh. Enough screaming now, okay? Okay, enough. <laughs> Just shut the fuck up for once. No, <laughs> no, no. I'm not gonna shock you, okay? Shh. Yeah, yeah, that's a good boy. <laughs> good. <laughs> Okay, you're gonna stay calm, right? Okay. Now, to answer your question, I injected you with oxytocin. <laughs> you know what that is, right? It's the same stuff that mothers make when they bond with their babies. Mm, I don't think my mother made any of this, though. Maybe if she did, she wouldn't have thrown herself off that bridge. Or maybe she would have. I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes when I'm driving past a really tall bridge, I think maybe I should just tilt my steering wheel a little to the left and just tumble down, down, down to see what it's like. Oh, but I could never do that now. Not to my perfect man. Not with you down here in the basement all chained up. Like, he would die down here without me. <laughs> and I could never do that to you. I would die before I'd do that to you. Uh, well, I guess, I guess I would die before I'd do that to you. <laughs> no, no, this is just a little something wonderful. That's all. It's gonna help you feel nice and cozy and Oh, so close to me. I mean, probably. I think 30 milliunits intramuscularly should do the trick, but I'm not a doctor, so <laughs> it's all trial and error at this point. But you don't mind, do you, honey? I know you don't. And I would rather start out with a small dose and scale up than get desperate and accidentally overdose you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, maybe if the overdose made you love me too much, but oh no, it doesn't do that, does it? No, no. Ah, <laughs> uh, anyway, I know you're worried, but it's perfectly safe. And um, I have one more for you. Don't freak out. That's also nothing but harmless. In the proper dose administered by a professional and I have done so much research I am practically professional and um it requires an intravenous strip I oh, see I knew you would struggle with this one and if you don't stop struggling and be a good boy for me I might just have to to tase you, and I really don't want to do that. Uh, getting the IV in will be a lot harder if you're flopping around like a fish out of water. <laughs> the needle might just rip through the tender flesh of yours, and your blood would end up painting the floor, and mm -hmm, as much as I appreciate every little thing that comes in and out of your body, I don't want to have to clean it all up. You might even ruin your favorite shirt. And even after all that, I would only end up getting out the ketamine and you would still get that IV, so really, honey, baby. Oh, perfectly sweet and wonderful, precious love. That would just be 
silly. And I have to punish silly, and I don't want to punish you anymore. Correcting your behavior like that isn't fun for either of us. So, will you stay still, like a good boy, and take your medicine? Oh, I'm so proud of you, baby. You are just the most obedient, amazing, fantastic, perfect treat in the universe. And once you're finally all mine, up here and down here, I'll be able to show you. I just need you to understand, and this will help. I promise it will. Mm. Okay. Now hold very still. This will only hurt a little bit. And... There. That's better, right? Oh, this one? <laughs> Nothing special, just a little scopolamine. It's harmless, I promise. <laughs> uh, do you feel okay? Great. Wonderful. Perfect. Like you. Now for the important. I need you to relax for me, okay? I know, I know, it's hard in those chains. It's all right, just do your best. Mm, here, let me run my hands over you. No, 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 shh, it's okay. I just want to help you relax. Take a deep breath in. And out. Good job, honey. Mm, that feels nice, doesn't it? It feels nice to me. Don't worry. I'm not going to touch you anywhere you wouldn't want. Mm, your skin is so soft. Let me just rub your shoulders here and your arms down to your stomach and your legs, just running my hands over you lightly, gently, nothing more than that. Doesn't that feel amazing? I know it's been a while since you've been touched like this. I know I can scare you, but I just want you to feel good in my hands. To realize that you're completely and utterly safe here with me. And if that's hard, and I know it is, just listen to my voice. Nothing but my voice. I want you to relax for me. Start with your toes. Just feel them tense and then release, letting all of that tension go, letting your muscles soften with my words. Now move up to your legs and do the same thing for me. Tense your muscles and then relax. Let them fall slack against me, just like that. Move up over your entire body, tensing and relaxing one muscle at a time until your whole body seems to fade from existence. Mmm, very good. You're doing such a good job. 
Oh, your eyes are heavy now, aren't they? It's okay if they are. They're supposed to be. Will you relax your muscles? I want you to just close your eyes and forget. Forget where you are, your body, your mind. Just drift. Good job. You're doing exactly right. And it's okay to relax here with me. There's nothing but love and acceptance and warmth here now. Hmm. Now I want you to imagine something for me. Imagine that you're on a boat, oars in hand. Just a little wooden rowboat floating in an ocean of crystal clear turquoise waters. The ocean is calm, the boat is steady, and you see in the distance a little island. Just a small piece of land with a single palm tree in the middle. I want you to picture that island in your mind, the white sugar sand of its shores. It's so enticing there. It looks so warm and safe. And you're going to row to it. I want you to take the oars now and slowly, very slowly, you're going to row to that island. In ten strokes, you'll be there. I'm going to help you count the strokes of the oar so we can make sure that you get there together. Okay? Hmm. One. You feel the tension of water pushing gently against the oars. Two. You're moving a little faster now. Getting a little closer. Three. Feel how the water breaks against the paddle as you push it through. Four. As you glide through the calm waters toward the island. Five. You're halfway there now. Six. You feel yourself grow more and more relaxed as you reach your destination. Seven. It's so close you can almost reach out and touch it. Eight. And as you get ever closer, your sense of peace grows. Nine. You are almost ashore. Every fiber in your being feels totally at one as your boat makes contact. Ten. And you are made whole again. And you feel that, don't you? You know that you're safe here on this island with me. You recognize that this is the only place you're meant to be. You realize that you are with your soulmate and nothing could make you happier than you are right now. Knowing that you are in a safe and wonderful place where no one and nothing could ever harm you. You realize that your life before now was incomplete. But now that you're here, you are happier than you've ever been. You find yourself falling deeper and deeper in love with me. And that recognition brings you such peace and joy greater than you've ever felt. You feel that too. You feel your resistance fading as the tethers to your old life fade away as well. 
The comfort that you feel in my arms is unparalleled. You want to be here with me. You want it. Every fiber of your being aches to be with me. Your one true love, your only love, here forever. Mm, you're doing such a good job. I'm so very proud of you. And you're proud too, because you realize you're one step closer to the life you've always wanted. And breathe in and out, just like that, with me, always with me, just like you want, like you're meant to be. But now, you need to get back into your boat. You don't want to leave, but you have to, for now. I'm going to count down, and by the time I reach one, you're going back in the water, far from the island. And then you're going to wake up. You're not going to remember this, but that's okay. You're going to remember how you felt on that island. And you're going to feel at peace and happy and relaxed and in love. Even if it's just a little, that's okay for today. Ten. You place your feet back into the little rowboat. Nine. You push off from shore, bracing your paddles against the crystal sand. Eight, the tension against your oars as they push against the water. Seven, your muscles straining as the island fades farther from view. Six, begins to shrink. Smaller and smaller as you drift away. Five. And your sense of peace begins to fade. Four. As the reality sets in. Three. How utterly alone you are. Adrift at sea. Two. How much you wish you could get back to that place. And you can, if you try. One, you're back. Hi, baby. <laughs> you kind of conked out on me for a minute there. How are you feeling? Relaxed? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's probably the drugs. They're supposed to relax you. Mm, or maybe it was my hands. I never went to massage therapy school or anything, but I'm pretty good with my hands. Hmm. Mm. I should probably go and get you something to eat, huh? Mm. Uh, I have to leave the IV in for now, but I should be able to take it out pretty soon. <laughs> Sorry, I, I just want to make sure that you're feeling comfortable. You deserve to feel that way. Good. Comfortable, happy, every day of your fucking life. <sighs> Thank you. <laughs> you never said that before, not like you meant it. I. <laughs> you are so welcome, wonderful man. Oh. Thank you for your thank you. It means so much to me. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Yes, I will be right back down with something for you to eat. Mm, not pancakes. <laughs> You're probably sick of those. Um, I could bring you some 
Pizza. I love pizza. I have some of the frozen ones, or I could make some by hand. That might take a while. Or I could order some. I know that you used to order pizza on Fridays a lot after work. Um, then crust supreme with extra mushrooms, right? <laughs> well, I used to go through your trash. <laughs> a girlfriend really needs to know what her boyfriend likes, after all. Hmm, okay. I'll be back with food, and then we can... Cuddle? Oh, I got a new book for you this week. This one is about a haunted house. Or a motel. Or a high school, or something. A basic haunted structure. But it looked really creepy. <laughs> Ghosts kind of scare me. So, I thought I could hold on to you while you read it, and then we could both be safe. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Great. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love you, baby. This whole thing is going to work out for the best, I promise. Just a few more sessions, maybe a dozen more, and then who knows? Uh, sessions. Oh, I was just talking to myself, that's all. Stupid, 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 stupid. <laughs> uh, nothing, nothing. Hmm. All right, baby. You stay right there and I will be back. Don't go anywhere, my wonderful, amazing project. <laughs>